I think learning a language puts me in conversation with my ancestors, and to know my ancestors means to know myself. Kwaslani shwa nashwa shkuli sla ichi skin ki anakush prinha in me heritage. I'm curious at uh, kichsha uh, learn more about it. Started coming to the Itishkin class here in the Neely house on Tuesday nights, and I really fell in love with all the people and the language. It's not just about learning a language, it's really about learning a way of thinking. The language itself contains cultural knowledge, um, which I would never have had access to before if I just spoke English. This is like more important than just a language class, not just for me personally, but for, for the language itself. I don't feel any ownership over this language. Um, I don't even feel it's my right to learn it. I feel that it's a privilege to be invited to do so. An experience that I've had while studying Yichishkin at the University of Oregon, um, and that I think that I share with some of my other non, uh, fellow non-native students, um, is just an incredible deepening of understanding of the importance um, of ongoing efforts of indigenous resurgence cultural revitalization, language revitalization. Language revitalization is a really pragmatic and also really beautiful way to support um, and honor the, like, the community and the land that I have the privilege of, of being raised in. I've always felt a deep connection to this place, but that has become even deeper since I've been learning this language. I can really get a Spanish degree anywhere um, in the States or like in Mexico or really like anywhere. Uh, but I really only have like the opportunity to learn each skin while I'm here in the Pacific Northwest. I guess my grandmother is, she really inspires me to really, I mean, learn and speak and continue to speak because I mean, there was a point in time where she couldn't speak it. For most of United States history, uh, education was a tool of cultural um, genocide. People died, you know, weren't able to speak this language, so it's like, that's important that I don't take that lightly. I think it's important for us to, for us as indigenous people of the Americas to kind of like stick, to be able to like practice our, our language um, in whatever way we can. We're still here, and so these languages need to be here as well.